am Dr. Leo Bada, specialist in arthroscopy and joint replacement surgeries. I am now standing in the operation theatre of my hospital, Leo Orthocare Hospital, situated in Piruchi Road, Ramanathur, Kwanjo. And I have been experienced in arthroscopy for the past 9 years and we have been performing many successful arthroscopic surgeries for both knee joint and shoulder joint. Uh, today I would like to give you uh, an introduction about what is arthroscopy and for what conditions we do this surgery. To know about arthroscopy, I would like to give you a short introduction on the anatomy of a knee joint. Knee joint has three bones, one is the thigh bone, the leg bone and the patella, the kneecap bone. And there are multiple ligaments inside and outside the knee joint which can get injured due to sports injuries or due to road traffic accidents or else in old age even a trivial fall can cause injury inside the joint. So the important ligament inside the joint is the cruciate ligament. There are two cruciate ligaments, one is the anterior cruciate ligament and the one behind is the posterior cruciate ligament. And the main important structure that prevents the friction between the two bones is the rubber cushion like thing that is called the meniscus. So, Patients who are suffering from either a meniscal tear or an ACL tear, ACL is anterior cruciate ligament tear, can be treated successfully with arthroscopy. So, what is the advantage of arthroscopy? Arthroscopy offers a pain free modality compared to open surgeries which were performed in the previous era. Arthroscopy is done through two small incisions of about 3 to 4 millimeters and patients are pain free because of the small incision we don't open up the joint and the blood loss is less the scar is less the operating time is less and the cost is also less and return back to normal life is also quicker when compared to open surgery for arthroscopy we require some high end machinery which is not available in all orthopedic centers and the machinery consists of one high resolution monitor. This is the core console or the shaver system. The other is the high source LED light and the 3D chip camera. So, using these machineries, we probe into the joint, and this is the scope which is being introduced into the joint. It's just 4 millimeters in size. And this gives us a specific picture into the joint. So we introduce the arthroscope by means of small holes and we can visualize inside the joint with up to 20 times the magnification and we can reach nearly almost all the structures inside the joint. And here I am showing you the arthroscopic view of our knee joint in a knee model. This is how our joint will look. So, what are the surgeries that are being done in knee? The first is, as I told you, arthroscopic ACL reconstruction in which we reconstruct the new anterior cruciate ligament using muscle tendon grafts from inside and around the knee joint and we make holes in the thigh bone and the leg bone and fix it into the joint using screws either titanium or bioabsorbable screws which get dissolved in a period of one, one to one and a half years. The other commonest surgery that is being done is the meniscus surgery for meniscal tear or degenerative tear in uh, due to trauma or in aged persons. The other surgery is arthroscopic debridement in which we clean the knee joint in case of grade 2 arthritis in order to prevent the progression of the disease so that it doesn't reach to a stage of knee replacement. And the other commonest surgery is knee joint uh, sinovectomy, which is being done in case of rheumatoid arthritis, patients who are suffering from severe joint pain due to sinovial inflammation. Sinovium is a thickening of the tissue inside the joint, in which we remove the thickened uh, inflamed synovium, and that gives a very good pain relief for patients suffering from rheumatoid arthritis of the knee joint. 
and last we can also use it to clear any infections for the knee joint. Similarly, other than the knee joint, the commonest surgery is being for the second is the shoulder in which we do ligament repair for the shoulder ligaments. It can be used to treat recurrent dislocation of the shoulder for whom there are multiple times shoulder dislocation even when they rise or they uh, turn to the side when they are sleeping they can get dislocated. In cases of recurrent dislocation, arthroscopic voids are very good, simple and effective surgery. Also for muscle tendon tears also, ligaments and uh, arthroscopic surgeries can be done in the shoulder. And for persons in whom there is an impingement of the bone to bone rubbing also can be cleared by arthroscopic, uh, arthroscopic surgery of the shoulder. And we have been doing many successful arthroscopic surgeries for knee and shoulder in our central Liga of the Cat Hospital. So far we have performed more than 1000 arthroscopic surgeries. And for any queries related to this, you can contact us at leoorthocat at gmail.com. Thank you.